It is chilling to make this statement. Mass shootings seem like a weekly event in America. And that means there are more people who need support after the tragedy. So one organization has served survivors and loved ones of victims for 37 shootings thus far. Anita Bush is the president and co-founder of Victims First and the National Compassion Fund. Good morning, Anita. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good and so interested in your story. So let's connect your personal experience with the founding of Victims First. Yeah, it, you know, it came out of, my cousin was murdered in a mass shooting in 2012 in Aurora, Colorado, in the theater there, um, watching a movie. And afterwards, there were, victims were scrambling, the community was scrambling, but there was no, you know, we, we found that there were very few resources. And and so victims were just trying to help each other stay on, on, on our feet. And um, we decided to do something about it. And we talked to Columbine families and, and Virginia Tech families and um, NIU or Creekside Temple and, and uh, Newtown. And we decided to try to do something about this and change the way things were done. And we came together and then unbelievably in 2017, um, our Stacy went through another mass shooting. And so my family's experienced two mass shootings. She ran for her life in Vegas at the concert. And um, we had been working, it's so personal. We've been working very hard ever since trying to help the next set of families. Well, when you say we, tell me about the people who make up your organization and why that their experience is so meaningful in the work. So that's a great question. Thank you. Um, yeah, we are comprised of, of uh, two decades of mass shooting victims who have lived through this, who have the experience. And we bring that unique experience to the communities that experience these mass shootings. And we help them navigate through what is a chaotic time and try to get some organization in there to the for the best interests of the victims. And at the same time, we are helping victims stay on their feet. We have an immediate needs fund. We help them stay on their feet. We gather the resources that maybe aren't there, but they need. And the communities don't even know that they need yet. And um, that's what we do. We just try to make it easier for the next set of mass shooting families. You use a word in the material I received about you. Uh, work to re not to not re-victimize the, the victims. What yes. do you mean by that? Um, to re-traumatize. Often, some of the most well-meaning people will will make mistakes and it's not their fault. They just have never lived through this and they don't know and they're trying to do the right thing. Sometimes the language that is used can be very re-victimizing to say to a family of the deceased, you know, this is gonna, we're gonna help you heal. You don't, as a family of the deceased, you don't really heal. You carry that like a heavy coat of grief with you everywhere you go. You learn to manage to cope and to manage the trauma and um, saying, the, you know, I'm sorry you lost your daughter. No, she wasn't lost. It was not a set of car keys. She was ripped from us. She was murdered. She was taken. She was stolen. And it's okay for people to use those words. In fact, it's preferable for many families. Um, also, you know, saying that there's a an anniversary. Oh, with nothing to celebrate. We, we rather hear remembrance or year mark. And then one of the most important things that I can tell everyone listening is that when you give, when you open up your wallet and you compassionately give to help the victims, make sure that your hard earned wages are going directly to the victims and ask the questions and make sure that it says directly to victims because, um, We've been on the receiving end of when money is collected and we see it going all over town, but to the people who need the help. And it's it's horribly re-victimizing. That's the best it, word for it. Yes, it is. And so help, help our viewers understand how they can help. Drive us to a website, please, where we can get involved. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, we have best practices for mass casualty crime that will help um, communities learn what to do and how to prepare. And it's at victimsfirst.org. And we also have a general victims fund. 100% goes directly to victims. We have an administration fund to help us continue our work with very low operational costs because we all work for free. And, um, you know, it helps us get to communities to help like Uvalde and Buffalo and elsewhere. So 
um, we would re really appreciate any help. And, and that's where you can find a lot of information. Anita Bush, thank you so much for sharing your very uh, compelling story. Thank you so much for having, having me on. Really appreciate it. And we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this.